Welcome back to Google Keep. I want to give you a real quick look. Now that you've got your notes and you've pinned them and color coded and added pictures and done all the things, the last thing you want to be sure and do, or possibly the first thing you want to be sure and do, is give it a label. Doing that is going to put it together with other things that fit in that same category and put it over here to the side under that label. For example, let's look at the creative writing label I created. This is anything I came across that I was going to use in my creative writing class. That was screenshots, that was links, that's ideas, that's quotes, that's pictures I took, that's the brainstorming for anything, that's when I modeled things for my students, that's when they suggested different quotes and I copied and pasted them, so when I need a writing prompt, there it was. Here was an actual assignment where we started with the frog jumped on Google Keep up on my big board and they did it as well. And then at the end, they gave me their, just their last sentence after they processed and added all these things to it. And to get it over here in creative writing, all I had to do was click on and say labels. Now, if I wanted to change labels and put it somewhere else, I could do that from here. The original just said add label and I added the label for creative writing. You can also do this to put it in multiple labels so that you could get it under journalism and creative writing and whatever else it is that you needed it to be. So it could be several different places. This lets you organize those notes just one more level and see all the things that you found that go with whatever it is that you wanted. I have one, I guess I kind of cheated. Here's one that's called find me later. Here are things I want to be sure and find again later. Here's anything that went with Justin's as we've come along. We're starting up with a new company. Here's journalism. Here's movie quotes. Here's topography terms. Here's anytime there was a link or a cool idea or something I wanted to be sure and show them or these writing tips. Here's an excellent example. These are my writing tips. I make my students write them down the first week of class. This works in any class anywhere for me. Here are the things I'm looking for as my students learn me and as I learn them. This is in the creative writing label, this is in English 12, and this is in journalism. So before they write anything for me, we talk about each one of these things and what it means to me and what I'm looking for and what matters. And I have that label and when I want this, if I can remember the title, I can search by the title. If I don't remember the title, but I do know the class, I can look in this label in Google Keep and find this note. You will see that same one in all three of those labels. So that's adding a label in Google Keep. Here's this, here's all the things. It's already, it's automatically under J-O-U and write because that's the label I'm in. If I wanna change labels, here's the drop down list. I can put it wherever else I wanna put it. If I wanna put it in a new one, I can create a new label right here. Easy as that. And there's, it's under demo and I have yet another label. Here's the only thing I have in that. And if I needed it, there it would be. All right, so enjoy experimenting with Google Keep. Be sure and give things labels and titles and, and experiment with those features. It's really pretty intuitive once you get into it. And like you, as you can see, I use Google Keep all the time. I have the app on my phone. I have this on my computer. I have it anywhere I can get to my Google account and I use it extensively for a lot of different things. If you're interested in more, be sure and look at the playlist on YouTube, look at the page on my website, experiment around on your own. There are tons of possibilities out there. Hope this was helpful. We'll see you next time.